Alright ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA. There's only five questions today, so today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter. So with that being said, let's get started straight off the bat with Dino Bricks. And he says, ASA, what is your favorite Spongebob scene? That is a really tough question. So I think I'm going to just go with the one that I quote the most. So obviously I love Spongebob very much. I watch it all the time and I just, I quote Spongebob at least once a day. And so I would say that the scene I quote the most is Patrick and Man Ray, the Patrick and Man Ray scene where Man Ray's like, is this your ID? And Patrick's like, yep. Uh, that's just like my most relatable scene. I guess I always quote Patrick by going yep to people. So I'm going to say that that's my favorite scene. Aren't you Patrick Star? Yep. And this is your ID? Yep. I found this ID in this wallet. And if that's the case, this must be your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. Our next question comes from CF Productions and he says, ASA, are you going to watch Loki? Yep. As of right now, episode one has already come out and I've already watched it and it was amazing. As of now, the video that's out, the episode two is out. The episode two. Does that make sense? Yeah. So episode two is out. So, and I've already watched it and I'm sure I loved it. But at this time, I don't know. It's like time travel, right? Um, I'm going back and forth because like I'm making the video before it comes out, but then it gets published after it's been out so a little confusing but i've been loving loki so far it's been absolutely amazing and if you are a marvel fan i would suggest that you watch it our next question comes from ynd bricks and he says are you going to get the new harry potter sets yeah no <laughs> no 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 i don't really think so because well as much as i like harry potter like the movies and everything i just i'm not into the lego sets like i just can't afford them really um i think some of them are really cool but i just don't really care like i don't think i'm gonna get into them ever but maybe someday if my channel like ever like blows up and i'm making like money with ads and everything and i can afford to do so right now it's super expensive to just buy star wars and minecraft sets and that's what i really love so i'm just gonna stick with lego star wars and minecraft our next question comes from pixelite and it's a bit of a long one but he says asa so you said you aren't interested in lego marvel sets is that because you are more of a dc guy or because you don't think lego Lego is a good medium for superheroes or is it because you just aren't passionate about superheroes in general so I actually really love superheroes I love Marvel mostly like I would say I'm more of a Marvel guy and I absolutely love DC I'm not not a superhero fan it's just when it comes to Lego Marvel I just feel like it's overrated a lot of the sets are either really expensive and not that good looking <laughs> Or it comes with this ginormous, huge, ugly, like, build or whatever. And it's like, what is that? The biggest reason, I think, is because, like, maybe the mechs, like, they're just so ugly. I just feel like LEGO Marvel is overrated and a lot of the sets are terrible. But that's just my opinion, obviously. So, like, if you guys like LEGO Marvel, then have at it, you know? Like I just said last question, I'm just gonna stick to Star Wars and Minecraft. And to be fair, you can make that argument, though, about, like, Star Wars having bad sets with, like, brickheads and, like, the buildable characters. <laughs> So I get that every theme's gonna have some bad sets, you know, bad apples, right? I just don't like Lego Marvel. I don't know why, but I just don't really, so. And our very last question, believe it or not, comes from US President Joe Biden, and he says, morning, dear citizen of the United States. I haven't happened to have inquired about your YouTube channel, so I, uh, like, uh, well, you know the thing. I mean, uh, yeah, so what is, um, like, well, the thing? Come Come on, man. You will, you know the thing. Uh, yes, I remember now. Will you ever think of or decide to make a thing called a mock or the Oval Office with a custom minifigure of your president? Wait, who is your president again? Harris, I think. Or, uh, wait, no, it's me. Haha, <laughs> sorry. I'm an old man, you know? Yep. Uh, <laughs> Great question, whoever actually commented that, that that's funny. I have made a mock about an Imperial potato farm, but I've never thought about making a mock about anything related to the White House or anything like that. So no, um, to answer your question, no. But I made an Imperial potato farm and I might make another Star Wars related 
Android farm or something else in the future. So I do have ideas for more mocks. It's just money and I don't have a Lego store. So if I want it, I had to buy the pieces online. And so it can be a little bit tricky because you got to like calculate like, oh gosh, I need this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. And it's like, it can add up really much. And like, if you, if you don't have a lot of money, then you got to spend it on shipping as well. And it's like, so you want to spend at least $35. And I know you could argue, we'll just buy it on Bricklink, but I don't know why, but I don't like Bricklink. I've, I've never actually bought anything. So I guess I can't say I don't like it, but I don't like the idea of buying used Lego. Like I'm just too much of a germapho, I guess. Dirty. So, so dirty. so I always had to buy clean Lego bricks from Lego pick a brick. That's on me. I get it. I know. So it's my fault. But anyways, that's it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed. And of course, comment a question or two down below for the next episode. So till next time, thanks for watching.